What's up guys? I'm working on the Jetta today. I was uh, trying to get my traction control to work. Um, it hasn't been working. And I think I pinpointed the problem. See the traction control should be working. But it doesn't do anything. So I was taking it apart, trying to find out if it was a loose wire or something. Maybe something came apart. Um, maybe the switch was disconnected, but no, uh, routed the problem to the uh, fuse box and we found a blown 20 amp fuse. So that would explain why my traction control doesn't work, my cigarette lighter doesn't work, and my auxiliary port doesn't work either. So I'm going to go to AutoZone right now and pick up one of these and uh, let's see if it works and see if we can get this thing fixed. I'll be taking the E46. Uh, tomorrow I got some parts coming in actually for this one. It's more interior parts. I actually bought a armrest delete kit and a new shift knob, a new shift boot, and shifter trim. Um, I know I wrapped the shifter trim, but what happened, the extra pressure of the fabric actually cracked the sides of the trim. And now it's, well it, it never was held down, it was, it was always broken here. So, I'm gonna replace this with a new piece. It's gonna look a whole lot better. That'll be tomorrow, so this might be a, a two-day, two-part video. But I'm gonna head over to AutoZone right now and pick up some fuses to get this jet up and running. All right, I just pulled into AutoZone. Let me get some fuses, I'll be right back. Got the fuses. Now let's, let's see if this fixes it. Okay, the one I took out should be sixth from the top blue. So I'm thinking right above the other 20 amp. I should have marked these. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I, I don't remember where it goes. Yeah? Maybe it goes there. Let's test it. Let's see if this works. All right. All right, so good news, it was just a fuse. There is one more thing I gotta fix on this Jetta. I am leaking coolant. I am leaking a lot of coolant. Better yet, let me turn this thing off. So this goes, oh wait, no, that's upside down. As for the coolant problem I'm having, no matter how many times I fill this thing up, it doesn't stay full. So there's got to be a leak somewhere. There's no wet stuff underneath. But I do believe I found the problem. And I don't know if you can see it from here. Let me see if I can zoom in. I believe it's the heater core hose. You can see there's some coolant buildup right there. Let me see if I get a better look. Yeah, this piece right there that goes through the firewall into the heater core. There's a lot of coolant uh, residue on the hoses. And I think that's where it's leaking from. So I'm gonna order a new heater core hose and then hopefully that fixes the problem. Um, I've been following this leak for many months. So I hope that's where my coolant is going. And that way I can finally get this thing fixed and on the road that's all I got for today. More parts are coming, and we'll do that tomorrow. All right, later. All right, guys, this is the second day. I got some parts in, and uh, let me show them to you right now. I ordered a new shift boot. This one has already got a hole in it. I actually ordered another shifter trim. This came off an M3 convertible. I replaced it due to the one I customized ended up breaking. So I had to get rid of it. But now we're gonna replace this. We're gonna replace this knob. I picked up one of these. New shift boot. 
and an armrest delete kit to get rid of this thing, finally. So I got all my tools ready to go. I'm gonna start disassembling the center console. First you wanna take this boot off and there's two screws under here. And I believe there's some more back here. We're first gonna take this off. There's some two screws there. Oh, these pop right out. All right, now we got a plug there. There we go. We got two more screws. And I think from what I've been seeing, I think that's it. All right. I don't think anything else is holding it down. Let me see. Okay, I'm an idiot. This piece comes out. Ooh, Jesus. Take out the switches. We have a few 13 millimeter bolts here. All right, then we got one right there. All right, this one also has a spacer. Got one more right here. Ugh. This piece should just come out now. The spacer. The bolt. Got everything removed. And uh, this is what we got right here. I got the new piece ready to go. I'm gonna clean this up real quick and then we'll be right back. Give it a quick wipe down and a quick vacuum. Now we're gonna put the new one on. I don't think there's anything I'm missing. Oh wait, yes. Uh, this piece did come with a bracket. That bracket needs to go here and we will do that right now. My mistake, that bracket actually goes on the back hole here. Not here, right here. And the way you know is the bracket has these little pieces sticking out on the sides. That'll sit flush with this. And this also needs to uh, hook up to the e-brake. Then it should go right over it. And these will go right here to secure this down. And uh, look how much space we're saving. That's pretty cool.
Got it all hooked up. I think all that's left is these two screws. And then, uh, of course, the inserts we can put in now. Let me just push this in. Should go front first. Maybe it's the other way. Yeah, it goes front in first, and then this just kind of snapped. There you go. That snapped in finally. All right, let's get it. Yeah, that looks way better. I'm gonna get this fastened down, and then all that's left is this front piece. This is attached on. Nothing can come off without this, so I'm gonna have to take this off. Uh, I heard you just pull up. See if it'll do it for me. So I should feel a pullback. Oh. Okay. Got it. See, there's no screw or anything. You just pull straight up. It's just this thing was old. I think this slips off now. Yes. On there. Much better. way better in here now uh, I never know how to end these videos so just thanks for watching uh, more stuff on the way I got a part that should be delivered tomorrow for the E92 I've been waiting a long long time for it hopefully it shows up tomorrow I'll give you guys an update as soon as it does that's it I'll see you on the next one peace